When we celebrated um, the solemnity of the Epiphany, if I'm not mistaken, I think I, think I celebrated it just uh, as we came in from the uh, holidays. And um, we were saying, you remember, that the gifts of the uh, Magi um, uh, were a sign of what Christ was to be on this, on this earth. You know? And we said, remember, that gold was a sign of kingship, that incense was a sign of his condition as God, so his divine nature, his divine condition, and there was a new element that was not present in the Old Testament, and this element was mirror, mirror that is always a sign of death, because it was used to prepare the bodies of those who died. So, we find something like this today. In the Old Testament, um, all the prophecies as we just read, they were about this huge light coming into the sanctuary, you know, because the prof, the, 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 because God was coming into the temple, you know, so everybody should be in awe, welcoming this um, uh, this great event happening, you know. So uh, this is true because it is actually God Himself coming into the temple. So, uh, rephrasing the responsorial psalm, we do say, who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. You know, but who will endure the day of his coming? That's what the prophet Malachi says. And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire. Now, the new elements mirror. It was a new element of revelation that the Messiah was going to be actually God made man, human. So that means that what happened when Mary and Joseph came into the temple? Was there fire? Was any did any extraordinary event in appearance to play take place? No. It was all very normal. They came in fulfilling the law with humility. A group of young parents bringing in their child to fulfill the law and be blessed in a very humble and meek way. Now the reality is that God himself was coming into the temple. God himself was fully making the fullness of the temple giving the temple the reason to be, to exist. God present in the temple. But he was just a baby, a very meek and beautiful pain coming into the temple. When Simeon saw them, the first part of his speech, as you say, as you can see, is this greatness, divinity, kingship of the Lord. For my eyes have seen your salvation. A light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people, Israel. This is the first part. But then he talks to Mary and he says, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of men in Israel and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will pierce. So this is the human condition of the Lord that involves suffering our limitations as human beings. But it also involves, as the letter of the Hebrews tells us, the mercy, the mercy that is within God's, um, God's self. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them so that he could free those who through fear of death had been subject to slavery all their life. So he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people. You know that the word priest is, is taken from the word pontifex. Pontifex, that means the builder of bridges. Pons Pontus. So the builder of bridges. What bridge? 
on one side God, on the other side men, women, women, youths, and the rich, so that we can go to God, and God can come to us. And that bridge, that priest, is Christ. But he needed to be as well. So today we rejoice and um, fall also into uh, this uh, revelation. Because sometimes we can think that God, you know, would act only through miracles and extraordinary events. But here we are, a humble church. Even this building. Somebody told me that this building used to be owned by the Archdiocese, all of it, you know. And when there was this problem with the scandals, it had to be sold. And we're actually leasing it. And we're only down to, what, seven or eight floors? We've been stripped because of our human condition. But those limitations actually made us more human and compassionate. Mercy. So the great miracle is not a big event like they have in different shows, you know, big lights, you know, and emotions. Yeah, that, we could say that for the end of the world, I guess. But today, our human condition, you know, shows us that the greatest miracle is the changing of the heart. And this is what Christ came to do, to turn our hearts humble and merciful. That is a great miracle that this baby Jesus came to perform, helped indeed by his sweet mother, who also had her heart pierced. So today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us rejoice because the Lord has made this possible. He has come to us. He is rich. He crossed the bridge and he is the bridge himself. And he is close to us so that our hearts can also be changed into his and become merciful for all those brothers and sisters that are still living in darkness and they, they need the light of Christ.